All Hands Workshops is a creative skill sharing studio. What does that mean? It means whenever you come in here, you can learn new creative skills or develop skills you've already been working on with the guidance of a local maker, artist, or craftsperson. So anyone that comes into All Hands for a workshop is not only supporting one small business, but at least two small businesses and creative entrepreneurs who have a passion for making things with their hands. So that's where the name comes from, All Hands. We have had workshops on watercolor, weaving, natural textile dyeing, we have spoon carving coming up, sombrero shaping, and the lineup is, is really endless and super interesting and varied because we're super spoiled with how much talent we have in Santa Cruz. So I'm really excited to, to be able to create this venue here of all places on earth and it's been so well received in such a short amount of time and multiple people in different moments have told me that this is really fulfilling a need in Santa Cruz and um, on that community level it makes a lot of sense again because of all the talented makers we have but what really gives me a lot of satisfaction and joy is seeing individuals in the workshops noticing how therapeutic and relaxing working with their hands is because we're in such a screen saturated culture you're watching me on a screen that's fine now but you know it's good to take more time out just to get back in touch with more of our senses and a lot of what we used to take for granted throughout human history knowing how to do things with our hands we've lost in a pretty short amount of time just in a generation or so so it's really cool that All Hands is a space where people can recover that and really develop a creative practice. Kind of like yoga studios are a space for a physical mindful movement practice for a lot of folks. I want people to feel like All Hands can encourage them to have a creative practice. Honestly, All Hands workshops came about on accident. Uh, my family and I were eating out at Malabar restaurant which is the amazing restaurant right next door to us and one night that night we went out we saw a for rent sign on this storefront and I peeked in saw some people mingling in the back and we all started turning in my head um, and they were related to the fact that I was already teaching my own modern calligraphy workshops throughout Santa Cruz at other venues. For example, Butter Cupcakes downtown or over at Pleasure Point at Mini Mint and Craftsman Collective. So finding other places where I could teach my own creative workshops had me thinking about this dream of one day the potential of having my own space and inviting other makers and other artists to teach their skills as well. So that was in the back of my mind, but there was no plan. I wasn't really systematically looking for anything. It really was because that one night we went out to eat and saw the for rent sign and called the folks and came into the space the very next day and things really snowballed from there. They were looking for the right fit as far as a business to come into the space and we shared with them our idea and we were ultimately chosen. One of the biggest challenges right out of the gate was just to get very organized very fast because this wasn't an opportunity that was premeditated necessarily. It was something that I had to be ready to seize right away and so I had to create a business plan. I had to look at other models that exist throughout the state and the country. Our, my husband and I had to look at our finances carefully to make sure we could make the proper investments to really get it started on a, a good foundation. And to give you a sense of the timeline of this, we saw that for rent sign very late July and had our first event in here in September. So that whole month of August was just a scramble to, <laughs> to really create something that was only in the realm of an idea at that. And so I've heard of many other businesses, wisely so, spending months planning this sort of um, adventure and having lots of time to really think through how they're gonna do it. So it's definitely been a challenge as far as doing as much as I can and we can in a short amount of time. But what helped with it, I will share, is that 
We had six weeks uh, blocked off this year to take an overseas trip to Colombia so that we could learn more Spanish. And we ended up having to sacrifice, choosing to sacrifice that trip in order to start this business. And one day hopefully we'll go in the future still, but many things aligned to make all of this possible. So if we hadn't had those six weeks already blocked off in our calendar, this probably wouldn't have happened. If we hadn't gone to Malabar that one Tuesday night in July, this wouldn't have happened. So there's so many things that very uh, mysteriously um, came together to make it possible and I'm grateful for that. I'm excited for what's next at All Hands because beyond the workshops, we're going to be folding in multi-week classes in the new year. So you can come for four, five, six weeks in a row and go really deep into a certain craft or art form. We're also going to have co-working for creative entrepreneurs, as well as team building events and special events, birthdays, other sorts of celebrations. So there's all sorts of ways you can get creative at All Hands.